Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back. And today, I know you guys are a little bit confused by the title, but I'll get right into it. So today, we are comparing two protagonists in two different game franchises. Without further ado though, let's get right into it. So as you guys saw in the title, I'm comparing Bayak, who is the main character of Assassin's Creed Origins, to Arthur Morgan in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, a lot of people would claim that Arthur Morgan undoubtedly is the best protagonist in any video game. And honestly, I thought that for a very long time until I played this game. Now, I know all the Red Dead Redemption 2 meat riders are going to come at me in the comments. And guys, I played the game more than once. I've gotten like 85% on like the full game. So you guys don't need to freak out, and I do actually think Arthur Morgan is definitely one of the best protagonists, but I just want you guys to hear me out in this video. So when you play Assassin's Creed Origins, the main character who is Bayak has a goal, and his goal is to assassinate as many people as possible. And now the people that he is assassinating are people who murdered his son. So there's a chart in the game which is like a pyramid, and it's got a bunch of people you need to kill on it. Um, and the reason he's killing these people is because they killed his son. So he's looking for revenge. And so he is what's called a... I forgot what it's called. But it's like a type of person who protects, protects Egypt. And so he, as doing that, is also trying to kind of regain his son. Because in the uh, mythology of the Egyptians, they believe that the, you want to die in the meadows. And his son didn't get that. Um, they took that away from his son. So now his only goal is to kill these, like, I think it's like 20-ish people um, to gain it. Even though so the story is just a lot about Bayak and, like, his mission on getting there. And he has, like such a well like rounded connection with him and the characters like he there's some betrayal in the game which you see in red dead redemption 2 there's all these things that you see in red dead redemption 2 that make arthur morgan good and they do it the same for bayak and but i feel like in the way they portray it is that there's more of a reason behind what he's doing than there is in red dead redemption 2 i feel like some of the reasons in red dead redemption 2 i feel like there's no super main purpose now you guys can come up with one but there's no focus like there's no like obviously get the money go to tahiti all that stuff but like arthur morgan doesn't have like an end goal and bayek does which is cool and also bayek doesn't end at the end of the game which is also pretty cool but um it's just like the flow of how like his and his voice lines and the character he is and he also has a wife in the game too which is a second kind of protagonist but but she like it, the, the connection between that two is also really good. It's kind of sad because in the end they can't really be together because of all the events in the game. I'm not gonna spoil everything. Same as partially through the game, she's working with someone else and like it's just like this whole thing. But I think it's just like he's definitely. I wouldn't say like he's honestly like, the best, but I definitely say he he's he's compatible with Arthur Morgan on his just the way he is. And this, I just feel like his voice lines, especially in everything, it flows so well together. Even though uh i definitely do recommend this game i'd say for character wise i haven't played a lot of assassin's creed but this is my favorite protagonist in the assassin's creed i've played and definitely a top five protagonist of all times in my personal opinion but uh i would definitely check this game out if you want i think it was just on sale i don't i think it might still might be on sale so if you guys are looking for an interesting game with a decent story that isn't all just focused on assassinating people i would check it out even though Thank you guys for watching. It means so much to me. I'll be back to streaming soon. I just finished The Last of Us, so I'll be like doing. I just need like I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Even though, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys hopefully in the future. But yeah, have a good rest of your day.